Hi guys, this video is going to focus on finding the area of parallelograms. First, of course, we're going to have to remember what a parallelogram is. A parallelogram is a quadrilateral, meaning there's four sides, where opposite sides are both parallel and congruent. We use these arrows, uh, or arrow type looking things, to show where we have our parallel sides. So what we notice is that AB is parallel and congruent to DC. Congruent means they have the same side length or equal side lengths. So AB is congruent and parallel to DC. AD is congruent and parallel to BC. So now we want to find the area of this parallelogram ABCD. And we need to figure out how to do that. So one thing that we can do is we can split our parallelogram and kind of rearrange the pieces. Remember, the area is what's inside the shape. So it doesn't really matter if we break this apart and rearrange it. The area inside isn't going to change. So what I did was I took a line and I made a 90 degree angle from the base of the parallelogram up to point A. And I'm going to take that piece away and move it. So I've broken this part off. I'm going to move it over here and I'm going to bring it to this side and bring it back in. Believe it or not, boys and girls, that was not nearly as easy as you might have thought it was. But I have taken that piece of a triangle and I have filled in what kind of looked like was a missing triangle. And what does this look like now? It looks like a rectangle. So we're going to just say that if this is my height, and this is the base, we know how to find the area of a triangle. It is that the area, sorry, the area of a rectangle, the area equals the base times the height. Now you do need to be careful when you are finding the area of a parallelogram on what is the base and what is the height. So let's go back and look at this figure when it was put back together. Here is my triangle put back together. Now it's really common to think that this line AD must be the height. And that's where that's a mistake. Your base can be DC, but your height is your height that makes a perpendicular line or a line making a 90 degree up from the base to the top point. Let's use our formula to find the area of this parallelogram. So again, we know that this line here must be parallel and congruent to this line here. This line here must be parallel and congruent to this line here. We, not, we want to find the area and we're going to use our formula. We know the area must equal the base times the height or A equals BH is how that's usually abbreviated. But we want to be careful. Remember, this line we refer to as the slant height is not the height of the parallelogram. This line here is the parallelogram and we could always rewrite our height on the inside and that wouldn't change anything. Remember the height is a perpendicular line from either base to the top. So it doesn't matter if we have our height look here, our height be here, or our height be here. Either way it's going to be the same 12 centimeters. Your base is the base which again doesn't matter if that's from QR or from PS, your base 21 centimeters is going to be the same because remember these lines are congruent. So our area is going to be 21 times 12 centimeters squared. Whenever you're talking about area it needs to be in centimeters squared. So the area of this parallelogram must be 252 centimeters squared or you can say 252 square centimeters.